positive change to, to use a, a scientific term. Uh, your life changed from one of tragedy to one of success. Can you share with us what happened, Joanne? Yes. Uh, upon entering or uh, enrolling into uh, Columbia College, one of Zafra's class from ozone to oil spills. From uh, ozone to oil spills. From ozone That's to oil spills. That's the name of the class. That's the name of the class. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where we as students have to come up with the project that's in our field. Mine is music. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time she was announcing these, giving us the outlines on what we had to do, I was like, man, these kids are going to really, because, you know, I'm up there, you know. <laughs> oh, you're just <laughs> and, a little uh, bit older yes, than other kids. Yes, just a little bit older than other kids. And I was like, oh, I got to come up with something. So after being incarcerated for that length of time, three years. No, wait, incarcerated, let's back up. We don't know about that. You were going to Columbia College at the same time you yes, were serving a prison I, term. Yes, at a work release center. Mm. And I was released every morning to attend classes at Columbia College. And at which time I would have to go back to the work release center, which is nothing but a form of being incarcerated mm. and sign in to make sure that I was in. But every morning I was let out to go to school. And I enrolled into Zafra's class, took it, composed a song, I come from a disadvantaged family and I got off on the wrong side in life, you know, mm -hmm. and I thought the, this is not going to work with my self-esteem being very, very low. Mm -hmm. Taking Zafra class helped me to build, rebuild my life and to turn it around. Amazing. Uh, I wrote a song called Try to Stop the Air Pollution, which I won, won and went to Princeton and Indiana University to perform where professors at both universities was amazed. Now you performed, you composed and performed a song at Princeton. Correct. And Indiana University. Correct. And, and you were serving time, time for offenses that you committed earlier in your life. Exactly. But you decided to take a course called from... Ozone to oil spills. That this lady taught. That this lady taught. <laughs> Uh -huh. And that had a rewarding, that gave me just hope in life, just more hope where a chemical destroyed my life and a chemi chemistry class rearranged my life. It gave me back hope. Wow. Wow. So I'm grateful. And uh, it's just amazing. She's really wonderful. She teaches us. She lets us learn. She doesn't make us learn. She lets us learn. And that's one good thing about it. She brings out all the creativity in one person. Where mine was on the burners, she helped me to bring mine out. And since then, I've been performing with her in community places, uh, science seminars and community affairs. Uh, once we did, a couple of times we did one with Paul Vegas, the, the CEO of the Chicago Public oh, Schools, Vallis. Paul Vallis. And uh, I've been enjoying it. American, American, American Chemical Society. Society. Uh, so you, you have totally emerged as a, a completely different human being. As a result of knowing and taking her class. Therefore, exactly. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel wonderful. This is what I say life is worth living for. If I could take, I didn't understand when Joanne told me that I have to write a letter uh, to get somebody's permission for her to go to Princeton and to Indiana, I said, whose permission does she have to get? But I did not ask questions. I just wrote. I said, she did this great job. She has to go. The reason for Princeton and Indiana is that we get, the National Science Foundation funded this course to be developed in these three institutions. At these three institutions? Three institutions. Indiana University, Princeton, Princeton University, and, and Columbia, Columbia College, College. In Chicago. In Chicago. That's so therefore, why that. Columbia College students flew to Princeton and went to Indiana. And suddenly Joanne says, I need permission. I didn't ask question. I wrote that she has to go. She a uh, project now has to when did you learn that she was really asking permission to be released to go out of state? I well, think it was a year later. I took yeah. her out for lunch at the Hilton Hotel and she suddenly said to me, Do you know to him you wrote the letter? And I said, No. She said, you wrote it to the prison authorities. I said, why did I have to communicate to them? <laughs> Here I see this wonderful 
person that was working so hard in class, trying so hard, and then she told me all the story, how she was found what gun, drugs. <laughs> gun and the drugs, and at the time I was, too I was too ashamed to tell her. I was too ashamed to let anyone know that I, because after all, if you've been locked up, you seem to society label you as the degenerative in society, you know, and I wanted to somehow prove to m other people as well as myself that I could do it because of the things that I'd gone through. And I didn't like it, but now I love it. It was, it's, it's, it was, it's well, it was well worth it. And, and the proof is in the pudding. The proof because the pudding. next year in June, you will be graduating with a master's degree from Columbia College. Correct. In arts management. Management. Performing and, arts. Well. And she graduated with a bachelor degree from Columbia on the dean's list. Oh, definitely. Well, Don't Joanne, you, you are an exemplary example of, of what can happen when someone takes the time and their intent is to wake up every day and make sure that someone that they touch in life is touched in a positive way. I'm really uh, grateful for you coming well, on in. I appreciate being here, but I just want to say to the audience, chemicals destroyed my life, but a chemistry class rearranged my life. It made it better. Thanks to Dr. Zafar Lerman. Well, that is quite a positive testament. And uh, it's delightful having both of you on. We're going to close the show uh, in the next segment with you performing that song that won the honor for you that, uh, that got you to Princeton and Indiana University. I'll be glad to do so. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to be back with more Chicagoing right after these messages.